the National Theater for Children, and today we have a show for you called Kilowatt Kitchen. Kitchen. Woo! Now, we want you to have fun, of course, but we want you to learn a few things as well. There are four main points that we want you to learn from today's show, and they are as follows. Number one, how to measure energy use. Number two, how energy is wasted. Number three, how to conserve energy. And number four, what renewable resources are. I love the show. I thought it was really good and very informative for our students about energy and how they can use it efficiently. A watt is a measurement of energy. For example, if we have a 100 watt light bulb, it will light up if there are 100 watts of energy moving through it. But that electricity has to be flowing continuously through it in order to keep it lit. Oh, a watt. Right. right. I think they learned the four things about energy, how not to waste energy, how do you use renewable resources. Not so fast. This saucepan came from your restaurant, did it not? Maybe. Well, I doubt it came from your neighbors at the pet store. <laughs> And what would this chuck throw out a perfectly good saucepan? Well, I don't know. It looks like he burned some sauce at the bottom of it, so he got rid of it. That's no reason to create waste. You just work a little harder to get it clean and then use it again. You know, every time you throw something away, you create waste. And waste is bad. We waste energy in a lot of different ways. The most common way that we waste energy is by leaving things turned on even when we're not using them. That's true in your restaurant as well as in our homes and at school. Hmm. Leaving the lights on is something we do all the time without even realizing it. So we actually do learn about energy in school. It's one of our fifth grade standards, and so we can actually tie that all together. Learning in this way is a fun way for them to remember things, and it makes it more engaging. Coal and natural gas work great as natural resources, but they're also what's known as non-renewable resources. That means that there's only so much coal and natural gas out there, and once they've been used up, Gone for good. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Well, I didn't get to the best part. There's an otter option. <laughs> there are renewable resources. Live theater is great for kids, especially kids that you know aren't as comfortable in front of the class. Learning how to go out and be somebody you're not is a great way to have them express themselves. When I give the signal, we're all gonna say. 